Blessings everyone, this is Sandra Walter. I'm coming to you from the Peace Garden in Mount Shasta. And I wanted to share a message that I received from my higher self this morning, something that's applicable to many of our live streams, so I thought it was important to share. But before I get into that, I just wanted to deeply honor and bow to all of those folks who are going through the recalibration phase at this point in the ascension process. It's not easy can make you quite fatigued, but it is also um, not without its rewards. The, the visions, the knowing, the divinity, the experience of such divine grace and unity consciousness and unconditional love is quite overwhelming. And I highly recommend that everyone honor this time. If you are experiencing that, if you've done the work and opened up and are receiving this right now, it can be quite profound. It is the fifth dimension revealing itself. Uh, this is leveling up. I want to point everyone to four four things uh, that have occurred. Um, you know, I don't just do videos. So there's two articles, Guardians of the New Light and Leveling Up, uh, that I would love for you to read if you're following the process. And there's two interviews that I gave in the last two weeks um, on Heavenly Blessings and on Cosmic Current radio shows. Uh, that are applicable to what's going on right now and uh, had some beautiful talks um, with some very, very divine feminines uh, via the radio. So give, the, give those a listen and read the articles to kind of catch up on, on what's occurring. In the next few weeks, we're going through what's termed or what may be presenting for you as the 13th Stargate. The previous 12 were all planetary and now this one's personal. It's also amplified by some interesting alignments. Um, I'm going to refer you to Bill Ballard for the Antirian uh, connection and uh, the, the alignment with Orion that a lot of us are, are connected to and uh, Carl Boudreaux's work on the planetary Merkaba that's, that's appearing astrologically uh, at the end of the month. But for those of you who are kind of tuned in to the 13th Stargate or are experiencing this deep recalibration, you you got the, the wipe a few weeks ago where the the karma, the emotional levels, all of the past has been completely cleared of any kind of attachment and you're you're literally starting from from scratch, from new, in order to build your mastery, your both master and child at the same time right now. Uh, and it's it's a beautiful state, but you have to honor it. You have to pay attention. Um, I'm I'm about to go into a purification phase to experience as much of this as I can. You know, this is what I've been working for uh, for for a long time. So I'm honoring it and uh, and have to do a lot of solitary work right now. You know, as, as social as we'd like to be, you know, you're falling into unity consciousness. The folks who are falling into, folding into that divine love, divine will, divine unconditional state of unity. It's, it's beautiful and it feels like you, you have no choice. It's just, it's there, it's there, it's there. You go to bed at night, you're like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen in the morning. You wake up in the morning, wow, it's still here. This is, this is the way it is right now. It's, I'm, I'm hearing that it's not always going to feel this uh, disoriented and, and be so fatiguing. You know, a lot of us spending a lot of time sleeping, you know, getting up and then napping, etc. But uh, it's not going to be that way forever. It's, uh, it's just the, the fifth dimensional vibration is, is quite different and it's quite beautiful. The more time you can spend in nature, the, the better, because you're going to feel that interactive state of, of that fifth dimensional expression of Gaia that is very interactive with the kingdoms and the elementals, and of course, your, your fellow brothers and sisters. Uh, it, it may be uncomfortable to be around people that aren't experiencing this right now. So my, my recommendation is don't. You know, it's your journey. It's up to you. It is going to be challenging when you when you face others who are not experiencing that. Not only that, but the level of light that you're taking on 
is going to stimulate uh, that which needs to be looked at uh, within within others by others, which uh, can cause a, a great amount of disharmony sometimes when people are kind of stuck, and that's what the second half of this video is about. If and and the second half of this video is for light servers, for people who are doing the work who are experiencing this. I'm, I'm not sure if it uh, applies to people who are just um, still experiencing the mirror effect because that is going away. It was part of duality. Duality technically gone. So as we move into triality, uh, the mirror effect is, is not as um, lesson-based as it was prior to all of the, the karmic clearing that, that we just went through, the, the whole wipe of galactic and multi-dimensional journeys. Let's not forget that we're leveling up from the bottom up. What we're experiencing, what we're going through here, this galactic legacy that we're creating, this leveling up of, of our beingness is, is affecting all of our higher levels. You know, a lot of the, the different soul fragments and, and soul expressions uh, don't need to exist anymore. So there's, there's a great coagulation, and that is the symbol of the 13th Stargate, the 12 into 1. We see this in ancient art. We see this in uh, symbols like the the apostles, you know, the 12 around the sun god, and all the sun gods having 12 followers falling into one, the zodiac, the 12 into one, the planets, 12 into one for a solar system, the, the multi-dimensional structure, 12 expressions rising up into one. We're here, you know, we're starting to experience it. And this is something that needs your attention. I know it's the middle of summer for those of you, you know, up north. It's the middle of summer. Uh, for those of you who are in the middle of winter, awesome. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to uh, feel guilty about not being outside. But uh, go ahead and and take the time to pay attention to this because it is it is profound and it's beautiful and it's. It's uh, the, the visions that you're going to see and the metaphors that are presenting right now um, are, are really gorgeous. And I'm, again, I'm not going to recap what I talked about in the radio interviews and in the articles because it's there if you, if you want to explore that. But as we move through July, and for, for those of you who are experiencing this, I deeply honor the work that you have done because this is where it shows and for for those of you who are in in service and experiencing the uh, I feel like I should be doing something and I feel like something big is is about to happen um, it is but it's all within right now um, you know Gaia is is absolutely fine this is for the the folks on on the surface this is uh, the great reunion of the fragments of self. This is the, the 12 pieces coming together. This is you reuniting with your higher self after a long separation. And as, as interesting as it is to, uh, to, to look at the other things that are going on right now globally, uh, we, we don't need to deal with that right now. This is about you take it personally, you know, take the time and and enjoy it. You know, the, there is a, a great richness in this experience right now. It's very poetic. It's very, uh, there, there's a lot of metaphors pre presenting and uh, your interpretation of those metaphors that are presenting are going to be where your creative intelligence is starting to blossom. And it's, it, it is that, that divine will at this point is the stillness, you know, praying, commanding, bringing in this, bringing in that, doing, you know, that kind of work is, um, is not where it's at right now. Where it's at right now is the meditation, the stillness, the receiving, the honoring of this passage because uh, for a lot of us, this is uh, the, the galactic part of our journey where we're reu reuniting all of those different facets of self that have been um, cleared finally of 
everything that has occurred with us in this galaxy. You know, it has been uh, challenging, but again, you know, we're, we're coming out of this unscathed, you know, it, which is incredible. You know, the people that are experiencing this, and again, it's not everybody all at once. I understand that there is, um, there's, there's a lot of people who are frustrated that they, they can't experience it or aren't. And, and I want you to, to you know, if, if you're one of those people, take a look at where your focus is. You know, the, the shift in consciousness is not something that you read about if you want to experience it. you got to do the work. You have to get still and, and bring that forth. You know, and wh whoever you trust with your journey, um, you know, go, go back and, and look at their stuff again. If you haven't gotten there, if you're missing a piece or whatever, meditation is probably the strongest thing. Getting out in in and on the ground, uh, in nature on the ground, is um, is going to connect you with that because the vibration now that all of those gates are are open is is just pouring this new frequency, this activation out from from every pore you know she's she's gushing with this new level of love and light and you don't have to be on a sacred site in order to experience that you're becoming the sacred site you're becoming that sacred center that cosmic light is is you always has been you forgot for a while now it's coming back don't it, it it's for, for a lot of people experiencing that Christed activation, it may feel like, ooh, I got it, and now I'm going to go out and I'm going to, to broadcast it to the world. This is integration time right now. This is the, the time that uh, we, we really need to, um, to anchor in and experience the, the many levels of this Christed consciousness. It's not, it's, you know, the first blast of it, you're going to say, oh my god, I got there. And then another level is revealed, and then another level, and another level. And it's all of these 12 fragments of the self, the 12 representations of those, those uh, expressions that we've had in this dimension, pulling back and unifying with the higher self. And for a lot of people, higher self level uh, is starting to, starting to move up and merge with even higher levels of, of your expression. For those of you who have received or, or seen your light template, your light signature, um, I got to see mine a couple weeks ago, and try try not to, to freak out or get egoic about it at all. Chances are if you receive it, you're, you're not egoic anyway. Um, but it's to, to see yourself as geometry is, is um, can be... Um, very abstract. <laughs> it's a very abstract experience and profound and you become very aware of the holographic nature of this experience and that that can um, again you know the, the stillness honor it until you've integrated it honor it you know I'm not doing a whole lot of, of teaching I'm not doing sessions or anything right now because this is is gonna be the the jewel of um, of that that mastery class that I've been just you know hoping I would be able to, to go through the process and be able to teach on some level even if it's if it's basic mastery um, and I know that in order to you know I don't teach anything that I haven't experienced so here we are having the experience and I'm <laughs> taking notes along the way and really feeling into to what people might experience the effect that it has on other people the effect that it has on the body, the mind, emotional, egoic level, um, really getting um, the the white, the clearing. You know, I, I shared that in the last video, even prior to solstice. You know, heart is clear. I'm clear, and when you remind yourself of that, if you're, you know, surrounded by, you know, we have a lot of people in, in Shasta right now. If you're surrounded by a lot of distraction or whatever. Uh, you need to kind of go, come home or, or come back to back to the tent at the end of the day and remind yourself, you know, take many moments during the day to breathe into that the true state of beingness. 
and it's going to take some integration. It's going to take a little time. But when you're willing to move into that state, it is gorgeous. And nothing else is going to matter. You know, this is, this is beyond a level of service and what can I create and what can I do and everything. We are going to move into the miraculous. But everybody just take, take a breath, take a step back. You know, there's, we have to be solid in this energy. Go through the stargate, let the alignment do the work. Pay attention, honor it. If you have, uh, excuse me, if you have the people that you trust that are experiencing the same thing or even close um, and, and you can get together and just be, be still and be quiet. You know, a lot of the solstice gathering, we were, we were in, in stillness or deep discussion about what we had been experiencing or meditation. We weren't even together for the full moon. We all scattered. You know, it was everybody was called to, to do different things. Um, and and right now, the the main focus uh, seems to be just just going within and receiving this because this is the step that uh, that we've been waiting for. This is the step that we um, have been preparing for. This is the, the passage of time, the summer of divine love, <laughs> where, where we get to experience all that we truly are. And it just keeps getting more and more magnificent with every step of this process. You know, you think, oh, wow, the vision, you know, seeing crystalline cities I've never seen before and, and you know, giant, giant projections of, of Vishnu talking to my seven-year-old self and, you know, just amazing visions happening right now, but you need to, to uh, feel it and not be distracted by, by doing right now. So if you're feeling like, like nothing's working, nothing's, nothing's moving or whatever, let it be, let it be, because everything, if it's, if everything is pointing to you paying attention right now, it's, uh, that's what it is. Be still. Do a little creative work. Something very, very meditative. You know, if you paint or, uh, you know, writing kind of invi in, um, invites the mind to play. So if you can, uh, you know, just do something creative. Go out and make some, some flower mandalas on the ground or whatever it is that um, feels sacred to you right now. You know, for me that feels sacred right now. Just new, new little things out in nature or um, just being at peace or sharing time with people that are in the state, same state of unconditional love. Beautiful conversations and honoring happening right now and uh, I, I wish that upon all of you. <laughs> uh, with, you with your free will choice to engage with that, it's, it's available. beautiful and uh, uh, apologies to anyone who's feeling neglected by not too many videos or whatever but it, it is what it is you know and there's plenty of uh, plenty of material on the website if you're new if you're new to my work go to my website you've got you know, the entire ascension process laid out for you uh, both in, in written and, and video format and radio and everything else you could want and it's all free so so Go ahead and explore that if you're at a part in your journey where you, you're just like, how come I'm not there? You know, and it is my, my sincere wish that everyone who wants to experience this or wants to experience a fifth dimensional unconditional state, it, it is, a, is allowed to, it gets there. You know, no one should be born into some illusion of, of slavery to, to a, a, a false paradigm and it was you know so the old paradigm gone new age gone new paradigm this is this is the birth you know this is we're, we're building it day by day moment by moment but the key is right here the key is within the key is this opening of that unconditional state, that unity, and uh, I have I have 
m much material on my site that, that will teach you how to get there. And if you're someone who is, who is abundance challenged and, um, and you can't afford the, the one thing that I, that I sell, all, all of my work is free except for the Ascension course. I have some modules on online. I think I, I gave four four of them away. Selections of four out of the out of the thirteen modules are online. No, five out of the thirteen are online now. And uh, and and if you sincerely can't afford any kind of donation to um, to make some kind of energy exchange, uh, you know, write me. I come off the mountain every once in a while and check my email and uh, and just tell me tell me what's happening with your journey. And, and and you're in you know there's no absolutely no judgment on what's going on in your life or anything like that all I ask is that you honor the material and and actually engage <laughs> with the course you know a, a lot of the a lot of the free folks that that ask for access didn't do the work and, and that's that's none of my business you know I, we, we do what we can as teachers to um, provide as, as much as we can and um, Self-empowerment is really the, the hardest thing to teach, but but here we are, and I'm very blessed to say that many of us in this in this light tribe are experiencing the the payoff of all of our work, and it's it's gorgeous, it's so gorgeous, and it's so radiant. There is so much love here, there is so much brilliance. It's it's really quite magnificent. And it's going to get better. <laughs>